loves and welcome back to my channel it's ijoma here and in today's video i'm making this dress but this is the cutting part this video is 16 minutes so after the cutting part and some of the sewing in our next tutorial we are going to finish the sewing now we are starting with our pattern drafting and we are drafting a basic bodies for this just draft your basic bodies for this i don't want to add a basque waistline to this particular one my client doesn't want a basque waistline now her boss point her nipple to nipple is eight inches right so i'll divide the eight by two and that is four so i'll mark this nipple to nipple line up to my chest line and from my chest line i will go up by extra two inches or 1.5 like it depends on how high you want your sweetheart neckline to be now after going up by two inches i will take out half an inch from the center part of my paper life from the center side of that that i'll take out half an inch then from my under bust i'll mark the half an inch straight down after connecting it straight down i will connect it to my bust point after connecting it to your bust point you will take out two inches on the other side though this intakes that i'm doing here it depends on the size of the person's bust so i took in half an inch at the center and two inches at the side and then i connected it to the boss point after connecting to the boss point we are going to mark our sweetheart neckline first of all the yoke of this dress you're going to draft it separately because drafting it from this paper will be hard so i'll mark my sweetheart neckline first of all and you can see that it did not enter my armhole line my chest line no i stopped this somewhere above the chest line now i'll take two inches at the upper bust this is for upper bust tightening i took out two inches around the chest line area and that is for upper bust tightening so right now i'll go ahead and cut off the yoke after cutting off the yoke i'll start working with the rest of the pattern paper i'll still make use of this yoke later but for now i'll keep it aside now after doing that you cut out your neckline the next thing that i'm going to do is to cut out the center of our paper after cutting out the center i will cut off this dart intake cut off the dart intake then this is how i take my body measurement i'll place my center pattern on the side to make sure that the dart is closed i close my dart on my paper before taking my measurement and i love it that way i'll divide her bust by four and i'll mark i'll divide her waist by four and i'll mark after marking that i will connect i did not add any seam allowance here i'll add seam allowance on my fabric while cutting now after cutting this we are going to use the yoke this particular yoke we have here we are going to use it to cut out the type of yoke that we want for this dress now i'll introduce a new paper right this is a new paper and i'll place that yoke on top then i'm going to add like extra two inches to the full length of this yoke if you check that dress we are making you will notice that the yoke overlapped the sweetheart neckline somehow so cut off your normal armhole your normal shoulder that your normal three by three neckline and then you add make sure you have like extra three inches for your yoke this new yoke should be like extra three inches longer than the normal yoke now from our neck width the neck width you will curve the yoke according to, to according to the way you want it to be So you can see how i'm covering that particular you from our neck width our neck width is three right from that three you will cover your you can you can see what i have right here this is like the easiest way to do this if you are drafting you can even draft normal off shoulder after cutting normal off shoulder you will use another paper to cut out your yoke so if you place it on top of your fabric it should look like this this is what it should look like then this is our normal yoke our normal yoke stopped at six inches so make sure that the where it starts from is exactly at six inches and then from there you will attack it, like you would tack it to the dress or you can just run a stitch on top of the dress so now i'm trying to make sure that they are equal at the side seam and this is what i have and then i'll curve it very well 
that is my yoke i hope you guys understand now we are done with the front we will go ahead and cut out the back so for the back i've already drafted the pattern right this is what you have our back neckline is 3 by 1.5 i'll take my bust measurement divided by 4 my waist measurement divided by 4 plus that allowance though most of the time i don't take that when making my dress so i'll just connect my waist measurement to my bust measurements and i will cut out then you remember to do your zipper intake i didn't do zipper intake like at your half length you will come in by one inch around the zipper allowance in order to avoid zipper bulge on your gown now this is the back neckline but i want to make it a v neckline you can make the back anyhow you want anyhow you want it but for me i want my back to have a v neckline i don't want it to be too high then after making my v neckline i'll go ahead and cut out if you want to make your back neckline a high neck you can also make it a high neck then after that, from the half length, I will come up by one inch at the center back and I will slant towards the side. The essence of doing this is to avoid zipper balls. So you can see the center back of my dress now is higher. The half length is higher at the center back and normal at the side. So this is my skirt. I'm working with a lace. This is a cord lace. It has a, it's a floral cord lace. This is the back of the cord lace. The lace, this is the front skirt. Just cut out your normal skirt. If you are cutting out, if you are using Ankara, cut out a normal street cut skirt. So you can see what I have here. It is just a normal skirt. I don't want to go into details on how to cut out a street cut because most of us already know how to do that. So this is the floral cord lace. It is just a normal street cut dress now just cut your own after doing that we will start cutting out our normal lace like i want i'm done cutting the skirts already after doing this skirt parts i will go ahead and cut out my sleeve our sleeve is very important so for your sleeve the one in the picture they did combination they had to combine it but if you want you can use the main fabric that you are working with you can use the main fabric to cut out your straight sleeve though my own sleeve will have a little a line sleeve i don't want to make it a straight sleeve now i'll go ahead and i will start cutting out everything i have now this is my yoke and i am cutting my yoke on a plain material i want my yoke to be on a plain fabric if you check the initial inspiration that we are working with the yoke is on a plain fabric then cut out the armhole cut out the shoulder just cut out this yoke four pieces like anything you are using for the main fabric for this yoke is what you use for the lining this is what you use to turn it also so after cutting this one i'll go ahead and cut out another one so basically we are cutting four pieces two for one side two for the other side the back of this dress is not like this the yoke is not like this and also if you want to add shoulder part to this particular dress you can add a shoulder part to it but i'm not adding a shoulder part now i am done with the yoke i'll go ahead and cut out the doll face for all my front and back pieces after cutting out the doll face i will cut out the lining i'm using my doll face as the lining too because i'm working with a lace i will cut out a doll face for the main line for the doll face then i'll cut out another one for the lining after doing that i will also cut my lace like normal lace because i'm working with a lace <laughs>
now this is my sleeve i want to cut out my sleeve before cutting out every piece of the top now i want to use this callop area to cut out my sleeve my sleeve is just a normal long a-line sleeve now the full length will be 25 inches i'll mark my armhole i'll take my normal measurement and then i'll make it a little a-line sleeve so the next thing i'm going to do right now is to cut my sleeve So this is the shape it has that's the scallop um hem now i'll go ahead and cut out the second one after cutting out the second one i'll start cutting out the pieces like the bustier pieces <laughs> cutting all of them the lining the main fabric so the next thing that i'm going to do is to cut out my pad i want to use a pad for this a warden so people call it warden so people call it pad and this one is the medium warden it is not too strong and it is not too light i'll go ahead and cut for this side after cutting for the side i'll also cut out for the center then after doing that i'll go ahead and layer them like i will laminate the wood into the door face before placing my lace on top of it i'm done cutting the side this one is the center i'll place my center on it make sure that your warding stops at your under bust it is very important and it is it will stop at half inch before your neckline half inch before your neckline so this is what i have and i'm making sure that it doesn't interfere while joining my neckline now i am done cutting out my wording i'll go ahead and place them like this this wording has a gum on one part or one part of it on one face of it so after arranging them this way i'll go ahead and iron it so that the pad will stay on the door face and yes if you are making this if you want to add an interface to your fabric or to your lining interface is gum some people call it soft gum clothes gum or any hair stay anyone you have so you can just go ahead and add the interface you want before placing your lace so now i am placing my lace on top and after placing it i'll go ahead and join now this is my yoke i'll double the yoke there are two two pieces i'll turn the curved a curvy area now this is for the back i'll arrange the main lining or the main door face i'll place my lace on it after placing i'll go ahead and hold two of them with a stitch like I'll hold the both of them with a stitch. You can use hemming gum. After doing that, you come back and then you cover it with your 
you will have to turn it with the second lining. This one is a dull face, but I'm using it as a lining. You will use it to turn the neckline and the side. So you can see I have turned the neckline and the side. And I'll go ahead and close my zipper allowance. Closing the zipper allowance before shipping is important. Now this is for the front also. I am done adding my pad and it looks good. So after adding your pad, you will go ahead and join the lining. You know the lining is different. So the yoke will not enter before the lining. You have to turn this buster with a lining first of all before fixing your yoke. So this is my yoke. I'm done turning it separately. You will turn notch and top stitch. So this is where we are going to stop for now. In our next class, we are going to fix our yoke, our sleeve and the general shaping. So do not forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload the part 2.